my name is Simon Tucker. Uh, I've been a social innovator and social entrepreneur for over a decade now, most recently as Chief Executive of the Young Foundation. In the The Young Foundation is a centre for social innovation and we try to innovate to solve social problems and spin out new social ventures of one kind or another. Before I went to work for the Young Foundation, uh, I had been a lawyer, I had been a business strategy consultant and I had worked in management in the NGO sector. Um, but when we set up the Young Foundation, I really wanted to uh, get into doing things myself, innovating, being entrepreneurial. Um, I made that leap because I saw lots of big social problems I wanted to address, and I didn't see many interesting solutions being developed. So when we started the Young Foundation, one of the key problems we wanted to address was young people not being prepared for the world of work and life after school and also being disengaged from school. So we set about to design a new kind of school for the 21st century. We just sat down, we gathered all the evidence we could find for what worked and what didn't work and we wrote a blueprint for a new kind of school with no educators involved at all. Terribly arrogant of us. But then we took it and we spoke to as many experts as we could and we refined and we refined and refined that model until we had something really quite compelling and the venture took off because people just gathered around us to support us because we've got that idea so well thought out. The biggest challenge we have faced, I think, is um, people have very fixed ways of seeing the world. And when you're innovating, trying to set up something new, you're normally breaking those rules and doing something a bit strange. And people keep trying to put you back into a box. So, for example, when we were setting up social enterprises, we'd often have business people wanting it to look exactly like a business that they were comfortable with. Or we'd want public sector people wanting us to do public sectory kinds of things, like I mean, huge amounts of paperwork uh, <laughs> and moving very slowly. Um, and so the biggest challenge was educating people about a new way of doing things um, and breaking down those perception barriers, opening the doors of perception to social innovation. To me, social entrepreneurship is seeing a problem in the world and deciding that you're going to have a go at fixing it, even though no one's told you it's your job to do that. It's about trying to get something new off the ground that will make a difference in the world. If you're thinking about entrepreneurship as a career path, um, my advice to you would be just do it. Just get on and try something out, because only that way will you learn if it's the thing for you. But when you're doing it, you've got to have some self-confidence um, and really believe that you're trying to do something worthwhile and you've got the, the basic elements of the solution. But then go and seek out your fiercest critics, uh, the people that are saying, no, it won't work, no, it's not original, no, this is a terrible idea. And always treat no as a question. 